Hey guys, before we get painting today, I wanted to give a shout out to my uh, donators. It's uh, Iona Pinkowski, Beach Beauties, Melanie D. Haven, Elaine Snyder, Susan Kane, Lori Whitney, Lori Eubank, Willow Ward, and Carol Duran. So if I, um, I have a feeling that I've already done a shout out, but I wanted to make sure just in case um, I had not, um, if you're on there again, well, thank you again. I really appreciate it. It um, Every little bit helps. Um, and I just wanna say thank you for your kind um, donations and, and go from there. Um, all right, guys, we're gonna be working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas. It's a gallery wrapped canvas. Uh, it has one and a half inch sides. And let me bring you guys back here because I did this once before and <laughs> You were, you couldn't see any of my colors. Um, so first, um, I want to let you guys know about Fire Opal. Now, Fire Opal is a folk art paint. It is a metallic paint, um, a multi-surface surface, uh, metallic paint. I mix it equal parts with Floetrol. And um, there was a fellow artist and her name is Kathy Goodwin, Godwin Perry. And I just want to give a huge th shout out to her and thank her for suggesting um, this beautiful color um, to me. And I've added it in a, a previous uh, pour or two. And I just, I really just wanted to give her a public shout out and thank you because this color is just wonderful and uh, when I put it next to a red it's even better um, so speaking of red let me just get you guys in here and just show you the the color I mean it's so pretty anywho so uh, the red I usually use Arteza's Bordeaux red and uh, if you get a chance they were available and on sale on Arteza's site the other day so I did scoop up quite a few four ounce packets, um, but I didn't have any Bordeaux red as I am out, hence the reason why I bought some, but they do have Rose Matter and it's fairly similar, just not as deep. Um, it's definitely obviously a different color, but we're gonna give it a go in this painting today. I have um, Deco Arts Extreme Sheen 24K Gold mixed equal parts to Floetrol, so two ounces of paint go to two ounces of Floetrol. And I did actually with this red, there was about um, five ounces of uh, Floetrol to one ounce of the paint. The Arteza paints can be stretched a little further without um, messing up their uh, colors um, when mixing it with Floetrol. I have Liquitex heavy bodied deep turquoise with a little bit of shimmer in there and that shimmer is the mysterious um, I like to add mysterious to certain colors um, mysterious is an art minds color and I have been told and don't shoot the messenger um, as much as we believe that it's been discontinued um, and the uh, manufacturing company that you know it is a Michaels brand art minds is and um, all the colors have been, all of the paint has been shipped out to stores. So there isn't any if um, back in the factory. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of what I wanna say. So I've gotten two um, bits of information. Number one, it's discontinued. And then there's the opposing, which is they're not discontinued, they're just rebranding, therefore they're wiping out their, their current, um, design labels etc and they are going to be doing a whole new packaging or um, visual packaging so we'll, we're gonna pray for the latter because it would be great to have some of these colors back and um, the the woman that I spoke to at Michael's um, rest you know told me that that it was definitely not going to be going away because this is uh, Michael's higher-end craft paint anywho so um, with the Liquitex deep turquoise, heavy body paint. Um, I can mix a lot of Floetrol, I'd say about seven parts Floetrol to one part paint, um, sometimes even more. Um, the less Floetrol, the deeper the color, but you are gonna have to add water um, to loosen it up a little bit because you know it 
it's a thick paint. Uh, but when I mix it with more Floetrol, it's obviously not gonna need any water. So leave a slight trace on the top and then it disappears quickly. My stick can still stand up. I can move it, but it still stands up. All right, this is Liquitex Basics Prussian Blue. I love how their Basics line has now introduced Payne's Gray and Prussian Blue and a few um, other colors. Um, so this is uh, mixed, I believe, about three to four parts Floetrol to one part paint. Um, the more Floetrol you add, the lighter the color goes, so you can adjust it accordingly. And then finally, I'm using Art Mines Metallic, uh, I'm sorry, Art Mines Brushed Metallic Sapphire. And I mix this about, I mix a whole bottle of it, and it's 3.2 ounces in a bottle of this Brushed Metallic, and I mix it with about eight ounces of Floetrol, and it really, it's such a pretty color. <clears throat> Finally, for my base and my um, cloud-like results, I have mixed up 24 ounces of um, Artist Loft Flow White Paint with Floetrol. So that's two parts Floetrol to one part paint, and then I add about two to three tablespoons of the uh, Americana Deco Art Satin Enamel in Pure White. And that's it. So let's get going. It's been a few days since I've painted, um, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to start layering our cup and I am going to, look at that. That's my Ninja Swipe spatula. I haven't done those in a while. I should probably try one of those. Somebody wanted me to do a galaxy pour style pour with, and then Ninja Swiping through it. And I, I just couldn't bring myself to doing it. <laughs> Um, they, you know, I don't know. All right. So we're going to do a little bit of white. It's raining out. It's cold. Okay. So I don't know if you guys know of Kathleen Osmore, but she started a YouTube channel. And uh, you guys should hop over and give her a little bit of love. She has, um, it's Kathleen Osmore Cause Creations, but I'll put the link in the description, but definitely hop on over and see, see her work. She does some beautiful pieces. Um, and it would be great to show her some love, subscribe to her channel. She does an amazing job.
hear the rain dripping. slipped right out of my hand. I don't want any of that. All right. Okay, get these paints out of the way. And here's my layered cup. I got my torch ready. Okay. I'm going to give a torch to the center puddle. And I'm going to move this around ever so slightly. Here we go. I think I'll move this time. liking it. I like how I moved that time. I just, there's some pretty interesting pieces of this here.
let's get some white <clears throat> around the edging. Spread out the white a bit to the edge. If it goes over the edge, that's okay. This is um, the, as you can see, that the white that I just laid down on the edging to help move the paint. I don't want uh, the composition of the paint rolling over itself because you never know once it gets stretched out what will appear. So I just do this white little bit around the edges. A lot of you already know that, but if you're here for the first time and visiting my page. Thank you very much and welcome. Um, so, I think we're pretty much set. But that is the same white that I use to layer in my cup. It does have the satin enamel in it. And we're gonna go back again. I will reuse my stick. <clears throat> really loving what I'm seeing. Um, I've given it some time to develop. And I'm going to come in with a torch, pop some more air bubbles. Got some really cool pieces. All right, let me bring you guys in so you guys can see. Oh, we're already at 17 minutes. I'm really sorry. So I love, 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 love this. And you can see I was pouring one way. And then when I tilted the cup, it created all of this in here and uh, up in here. But that seems to be gone. So we'll see what, what comes of this. Sorry about the glare but I'm loving this area, all of this, and the red tips on the wings. We'll see what happens, okay? All right, so let's get you guys back. All right, I got you up there. Let's do some stretching. We're gonna go over here a bit. We're gonna come back. Recenter. I'm gonna go over here. No particular reason on why I'm going to either corner. It's just I like what I see and I wanna see what else comes of it. So we're gonna come back over on this side. Almost. And we're slowly stretching it out. One corner at a time. Remember to always, well, I just went over the edge, but always try to bring it back to the center. And I'm just bringing it to there. So now what I'm gonna do is give it another torch. I see uh, a bunch of air bubbles and we wanna get those pop while we can because if when you pop the air bubbles with the torch sometimes it brings up cells underneath and um, when stretching those cells will stretch as well so it's always good to torch in between that's what I've found Come back in. There we go. See how it opened up that band? I would point, but I'm going to get paint everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to come back to this corner. Really love 
love this one. This is really looking fine. Like standing on my tippy toes. <laughs> get over there but I don't want to lose all that but I think I'm going to there we go all right I'm just moving it back a bit and I'm gonna come rinse off my hands real quick before I get paint everywhere this is actually turned into more of a galaxy, or it could be a nighttime illumination with the anemone. I don't know. But, all right. Either way, I'm absolutely loving it. I had to rinse my hands off. I didn't want to get any paint on my hands dripping onto the composition of the piece. So right here is white. I don't, um, I love negative spice. I love white areas, but in this situation, I really want to cover the whole piece because it doesn't make sense to have white there. see where it's moving towards okay so we're gonna do I can actually probably just cover that up I don't want to I think I'm just gonna leave it be and I got those striped cells again and I am so excited <sighs> they're really quite cool um let me I'm gonna take this what I'm going to do is correct this corner. I mean, it's not really correcting. It's just... Just letting it run off of my stick. Try to keep the flow. All right. Really excited about this piece. I can't wait to bring you guys in. I know I keep talking about it and you're just watching me fix corners, but I want to make sure I fix the corners now and all right, let me bring you guys in one more torch. going to need a name for this one as it's not as under the sea as I had hoped or maybe midnight in the garden of an enemy. But look at those. It's so crazy. But look at these cells. The stripes. I mean, these are so cool. 
I have no idea how I'm doing this, but I like it. Um, yeah, they're, they're really just so neat. All of this detail. Oh, that area is just so cool. Look at this. That's so awesome. I can't, I'm sorry, I might get in the glare from the lights, but there we go. Love it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my contributors and my supporters. Uh, share my videos, give them a thumbs up, give me a comment, um, but get me out there. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks again. Have a great day.